Hi, welcome to Universal Interiors. I'm Les Inglestead and I am about to take on chicken soup. Homemade chicken soup for those that say, I don't do anything in the kitchen homemade. This is great. You know when you've just gone to that, mm, there it is, the $5, $7 chicken there you see. It's like perfect, it's a meal tonight. So you take that, you cut off the chicken for a while and then you have the big old bone. Now this might seem elementary, but what I am just gonna try to simplify is I have taken that carcass, I dropped it in boiling water. That's what's going on in the backside. And meanwhile, I'm going to come over here and I've got the simple celery, carrots, and onions. So I'm gonna chop away and I'm kind of one to do big chunks, okay? So I'm just gonna cut and I really, honestly, sorry Raina and all, but I don't really measure out. I just know that I want a lot of carrots and quite a bit of celery and some onion. That's my deal. So I'm going to just put that all in here and that's what we're gonna cut up. And I guess it would equal probably about a couple cups is what I'm gonna do. I have the easy, simple way of going into the grocery store and buying those little bags of already cut carrots. If you're so good and you are peeling it, well that, Good for you. It's definitely more exercise than that, so that's cool. But I am just doing this carrots, and we're gonna take a number of these. And again, I just get the little ones, so we're just gonna cut those up. We got all that going on into this bowl. And meanwhile, I just wonder if very many of you that watch this ever went to grandma's and had her chicken soup it's pretty simple to do and it's a great little memory to be made and maybe you have one of those cute little helpers in the kitchen that can help next i'm going to take stalks of celery again yep i went the convenient easy way into the store already these days you don't have to have the big you just get to go like this get the celery hearts how great is this no cutting away all that extra stuff again good for you if you have it at home then you'll clean it up and that actually would be really good right in the soup too, is just to put the whole stock into there and just leave off the little little pieces. Of course, you cut the ends. So now I've got kind of a mix that looks like this. Your carrots, your celery, and generally I do a white onion. Just so happen to have a lot of red right now. So again, I do things very big. Most of y'all, I bet, would like it to be a little bit smaller because you have a family and they don't like a lot of texture, perhaps. So now I'm taking this onion and I've cleaned out the last, obviously the other parts, and I'm going to put that all into the bowl. And you know what's grand? Look at that fun color. And if it's good color like that, it's probably good for you. That's what I've been learning about through the years. So now I've got the veggies. I'm gonna come on over to the stove. I've been boiling it for quite a while, maybe 15, 20 minutes. So there it is, the whole big carcass, everything's in there. So I've got kind of set up, hopefully this works pretty well. Pop with the strainer, and I'm just gonna pull out all of this big stuff, and hopefully not make too much of a mess. So I pulled that on out, and now you've still got all this. You don't wanna have anything really left in the pot, but the chicken. So I'm going to bring that on over there. It looks something like that. You're going to have little bones. And, then, and it's okay, obviously. We want the chicken in. But we don't want to find that when you take a big old bite of chicken soup. So make sure you strain it out really good. Some of the chicken is fine, like I said, to stay in there. And there's all sorts of meat I just scooped up. But now I should have just about everything that you need. Oop, see there? Little hidden bone. But there it is. We are to chicken broth. We're gonna take that big old bowl of veggies over here into the sink. And we are gonna put that. Whoop. I'm trying to get my little thing. There it pops. So we'll just put that right on in here. Now that's gonna boil for a while. I do have, like you can just get this in a box right by all the soups. And I'm gonna add the chicken broth because this is gonna bring out a little bit of the salt and that sort of stuff. I've got just water that I boiled chicken. Okay, boiled that up and then I might. How much water? I had probably, I'll get some measurements there. It's about this full. <laughs> and so that's probably about a gallon, 
if you dump a whole thing in there. And again, it's not like too much of a wrong or right. That's what's great about this soup. Because what you end up doing, I do have this other little um, seasoning, just dry seasoning. You can get those little blocks. I just prefer to have a um, chicken flavor broth like this instead of doing those little bouillon cubes just kind of this way okay so now I've got that boiling away I am also going to start so now this is what it looks like underneath I have some broth and I'll later add to it but now hands clean and I'm just gonna start pulling out this chicken okay and our family is not super huge meat in the soup they'd rather or we'd rather have a lot of veggies but this is hot but it's not so hot that you can't do this. There's gonna be, you can get those long forks to do it and you just kind of peel it away. It's so neat because all of a sudden you find you think you've almost eaten all the chicken, but there's these big pockets of meat underneath and that's what like this is. You don't wanna put the skin in and actually you could if you're all about the skin, but kind of got a funky little texture. This is a great one to have a few people work with you so you can pull all this stuff off. But see, it just pulls right on off. And obviously, you don't want to put one of those bones in there. But, so I kind of pinch it. So I've taken the chicken off, kind of pinch it to make sure there's no hidden bones, okay? And then you'll just kind of keep on working it that way. A lot of this is full of the fats or the little pieces, but it's so great because now you use up all that chicken, right? It's a great way to do it, and it takes a little time in the kitchen, but if you prep yourself, say the morning, you're just hanging out, you're going to do a few veggies, you cut them all up, then you stick it in a bowl and shove it back in the fridge, and that way if you come home at nighttime, then maybe you've just had a, your chicken broth, and you don't even have to do water. You can take the whole thing like this, and you don't have to worry about just pour it on in there, and, but just have this boiled in any amount of water, really. And then you pull this out and then just use this. This is perfect, just like you would in chicken veggie soup or chicken noodle or chicken dumpling. I just choose it to do that way. So now that's basically what I'm gonna do. I pull out the chicken, I have some in here. Now you can either wait till this, this is gonna be about a 20 minute. You're gonna get your carrot soft, celery, onion, and you can, it's not gonna hurt the chicken to go in, but I'll just wait just a moment and let you know um, this is the consistency. Now say that you don't really like onions, you don't have to put what I have or like, oh man, I don't hardly have enough carrots in there. You can just add to it. Cause you know, you heat up soups again. I'm certainly not gonna sit down and eat that. But there's what's going on right now. So isn't that fun? That is being made and my chicken is being plunked. And all, if you're out in the country, you can toss this right into the, well, maybe you shouldn't toss it in the woods cause other critters, would come to the attention and you don't want to be inviting skunks along the way but it is nice to just have this pulled right off from there anyways I was saying about visiting your grandma or grandpa and they were having soup on the stove but I just love that we all have memories that are good right I know there's a lot that weigh heavy on us but if you can challenge yourself I've addressed this before but really honestly if a morning at least maybe first thing and last thing, to just put inside of your head, in your heart, something that's funny, something that was so sweet, that flower that you just saw, the person that just complimented you, or just anything that you love about you. And guess what? This chicken, kind of awfully looking, right? Not really that good, but look at all the good things you can do with a chicken. If you wanna compare yourself to a chicken, that's what I'm trying to get at. There's some things that sure, you're not great at and that you kind of struggle with, but there is also some that's so incredibly cool that only you can give to the world around you. So that's what you gotta focus in on. Not all that list of what you can't do, what you don't wanna do, what you feel like they're thinking about you. I gotta tell you, this past year in my life, I have just really asked God to reveal to me the stuff that steals my peace. Oh, I was a little bummed. I found out a lot of it was me and the way I think. So, I don't know if you're like me at all, but my thinker sure needs some work sometimes. And uh, that's what I'm gonna challenge you with. 
I don't know why I corresponded that thought along with chicken, but this is what we're doing. This boiled for a while. You're going to drop in that chicken. And then the last thing that I do, well, is take my spices. I've got poultry, thyme. Anytime you make chicken, use thyme. This is a non-salt. Non and then a lemon pepper. So I'm just going to look in that, add to it. And here's the thing. You put in what you like. I always add a lot of spice. So I would say, think teaspoon. But go back and just take a spoon and try it. And if it's not like, so it's still missing something. Don't add any salt, please, because there's a lot of that in there. And then this is last thing is poultry. Okay, so I've got that because obviously poultry, right? I've got that going on here. And with this soup base, you will be able to add noodles to it. Or if you feel like doing the dumplings, add it. Anything you care, maybe just chicken and veggie. Leave it just as is. But you will sit down, grab a good loaf of bread, mm, crackers, vegetables. Eat alongside of that, and you'll be enjoying chicken soup with the family. And if you're alone, well, perfect. Put this in the freezer, and you got yourself a soup for quite a few meals. Thanks again for watching. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy.